Hello everyone, it's Amy, and welcome back for week 140 of Build Your Stash and Craft. Today we are going to make a card display, and you can use this for Happy Mail, or it works really nice if you have someone that's in the hospital, or someone that's in a nursing home, and they're receiving cards, and you set them up on their you know, table or whatever, and it gets in the way, they get knocked over and knocked on the floor, and you know, who wants something on the floor in a hospital? Um, so, you know, it works really well so that they can be displayed and they can be seen. And so that's what we are going to do today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut about 32 inches of our ribbon. And it doesn't have to be exact. There's 12, 24, And 32 is right in this area. That gives us a little bit of room to um, fold it over at the top and to cut a tail at the bottom and still have enough room to put a decent amount of, of paper clips. Or, I mean, um, yeah, paper clips. So what we're going to do is this ribbon has wire in it. Now, do we want wire? It's not going to hurt anything. Um, but... It might make it stay more crinkly because the wire will stay bent. I think we can leave it. If you wanted to remove it, all you would do is you would just pull your ribbon back from the wire. I don't know if you can see that little piece of wire there. And then just grab that piece of wire and pull it out. And then if you do that, save that because you can use that for different things. It's a nice thin piece of wire. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to the part that I cut, I'm just going to fold it in half, and I'm going to put a tail on it. And whenever I cut a tail, I make sure that I line up my corners, and I cut from my corner in instead of from the fold out. Because sometimes when you cut from the fold out, these shift a little bit, and they're not, then you, they, you don't wind up as even. Sometimes you wind up with one tail wider than the other because they've shifted. All right, so there we go. Now, if your wire's sticking out a little bit, mine's not really, but I'm going to do this anyways. I'm going to pull it. Whoops. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit, and I'm just going to nip off just a tiny, tiny bit. Make sure you hold on to it of that wire so that that's not sticking out the bottom at any point in time and poke somebody. Let's pull that back up there a little bit, get a hold of it, hold on to it, and snip it off. There we go. Now the ends of our tails don't have a sharp wire sticking out. So that's the bottom. On the top, what we're going to do, it's already folded over, but you know, if you're once you get into your roll, it won't be folded anymore. Um, if you're just not folded over, fold it over about a half an inch. And then we're going to put our hanger on it. And we are going to actually put a little hanger on it. Now, um, this is what we're going to attempt to do, and let's see how we do it. I used to make these quite often, and so I had it right down pat, but it took me a while to get this again today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open it up, and our paper clip is pretty much just as just wide enough to, um, to hold our ribbon. If not, you just fold your ribbon in a little bit. So we're just going to kind of, well, before we fold them up, whoops, 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 before we fold them up, we're going to take our regular pliers and we are just going to squish this down a little bit. I just put lotion on my hands and they are slippery. That was not a smart thing to do, huh? <laughs> I can't even hold them. I'm just going to give this a bit of a squish. like that. Try and wipe the hands off a little bit. And then the other end too. Both ends just give them a little bit of a squash. Just so that they still have that rounded bit but it's not as large as this. And then you're going to fold this one up and fold this one up. And then we're going to kind of figure out 
square is the length of this one. We're going to fold it back just a little bit. We're going to probably use about an, maybe a quarter of an inch. And say if I fold this right here, this side and this side look about the same length. Okay, so I'm going to fold that right there. And I'm going to fold it backwards towards this. I'm going to put a little C in it. Just like this. And so now it looks like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of hook that around here. And again, look to see where does it look like they're about the same length. And if it, if it was right about there, probably right about there, this length looks about the same as this length. And so right here is where I'm going to, I'm going to get this out of the way, I'm going to fold this straight up. And then this is going to hook around it. And then I'm going to look and see how that looks. Now this looks quite a bit longer than this one, so there's options. I do want to kind of fold that back down a little bit and move up just a little bit. Get this out of my way. Fold that up just a little bit higher. Up there. Now let's try it. There. Now the two sides to me look a little bit more even. They're not perfect. You can measure them to make them perfect, um, but I usually just eyeball it. So now that I've got that done, and I think that that looks good, I'm going to go ahead and go in here and I'm going to pinch that little first little C that we made. And that's going to hold on to the hanger so that it doesn't move. So we're just going to pinch that shut. So we pinch this little piece shut, then we'll stand this one up. I'm going to use my round nose pliers. Just kind of stand that up. And then decide where we need to cut it. Get our nippers. We're going to cut it right probably right about there looks pretty good. And because they are paper clips, they really hold their they hold their shape. So you don't have to worry about if you use wire that's thinner. Um, but they are a little bit harder to cut. And if you put lotion on your hands, then they're even harder to cut. So there we go. Now we've got the little hanger that we are going to hang our display from. And we're just going to put this right in here. Just like that. There. And then you can glue that down or you can sew it down. Because I have my needle and thread out, I sew it. And if you think that you don't want your thread to be white, we, we bought white for, the, for our series. And so if you wanted it maybe to be red, all you need to do is just use a red marker. Just take a red marker put it right on your thread and pull your thread through and do that a couple of times and you'll have red thread. So I like with the white of the lace, I like the white so it does not bother me at all that my thread is white. I'm just going to go around the end a couple of times and then because this is the hanger you do want to um, you know don't take great big huge stitches you want it to be solid and just try and go straight across underneath your your little hanger there so that that line looks neat and then when you get to the other side we'll just put a knot in it and that part will be all done and we've got the bottom done then all we have to do is add our clips There we go. I'm going to go around this end a couple of times, just like the other end. Oh, I hope I was in shot. Just like that. And then tie a knot, however you tie a knot. I take a little bit of the fabric and then put my, put my needle through the loop. 
and I do that twice. Just grab a little bit of the fabric, you wind up with a loop there, put your needle through it, whoops, don't catch the other side, and then just pull it tight. That loop catches your thread, and that's what makes your knot. Get that little trip. And there we go. And then what I do is I just take my little paper clips, and this is a very simple project, um, but it is very effective. When my mom got sick and she was in the nursing home, um, they wouldn't let us bring her home until she could actually like help get herself up and walk just a little bit. And so um, I made her one of these to hang on her wall. And it just, it really looked nice, and it really was a good place to um, have her cards. And if she had more cards, then we'd just kind of switch them out. People don't send as many cards as they used to, though. All right, so when you hook on your paper clip, you are going to hook on the long top part, not the part that's cut, not the center part, but you're going to put a tack on each end. And I just start by coming down about, you know, you just kind of guesstimate it. It's about an inch. And then just go through and what I'm going to do because this is a really large weave because it's burlap I didn't pull my thread all the way through so my knot is still here on the back what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my needle there's my knot this is a double threaded you know I um, a double thread I put the knot at the bottom so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate it like right there where my knot is I'm gonna put my needle through there that way when I pull that tight, put this back up here, um, when I pull it tight, that this has gone through that one and the knot cannot pull through to the other side. Okay, so, and now that we've got that securely on there, we're gonna take three or four stitches just to make sure that it holds, and then we'll just go and do the same thing at the other end. If you wanted, you could just you know just kind of take your stitches all the way across if you wanted to if you had some pretty like embroidery thread or something you know you could put a stitch here then maybe skip a quarter of an inch or so put another stitch and another and another just for decoration you really don't need that many one at each end is fine and then again I'm just going to catch a little bit of fabric and I'm going to do that twice go and just cut that off and put one on the other and now the way that I tie a knot in my thread my thread is doubled they both come to the same spot here at the end I just go ahead and I take my finger and then I take my thumb I roll the thread I wrap the thread around my finger whoops until it comes back to where the other one is they're both under my thumb and then I roll them together like this and then just pull it down that's how I make a knot and there's you know many ways to do that and you don't have to make sure that you're exactly like your paper clip it because your paper clips going to move a little bit so it doesn't have to be in the exact spot again I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put this through between my two threads just like that right there by the knot and then when I pull that through now it's not gonna go anywhere And then just take three or four stitches and put a knot. Oops, caught it around the paper clip. Well, I'm all fingers and thumbs today. There we go. I think I'll take one more because I've got a space between my stitches here so I'm just gonna kind of cover that up there we go And 
and so there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down about seven inches. Cards, if they go this way, a lot of times are five or six inches. If they go the tall way, they're six to eight inches. So seven inches to me is kind of a, a happy medium um, so that they don't cover each other up after you hang them on here. Now you can, you know, you don't have to hang it right in the center, so you have you have play with that. So I'm going to go down about seven inches, which is right here. And then I'm going to make sure that I have my long side up. And then just because I'm me, this one, my tail of my paper clip here is coming out that way. On this one, the tail of the paper clip is going that way. So I want to flip it over because I want them to be about the same. And that spacing to me just seems too far. So I'm going to move it up to about here, which I'm going to guess that's about six inches. Yeah, that's about six inches. That looks better. And like I said, you can move them up. You can, you know, slide them down a little bit. But I'm going to do this and then another one six inches down and another one six inches down. And I will be right back and we'll put some cards on it and see what it looks like and figure out what we need for next week. Okay, I'm back, and this is what it looks like when you hang it up. All I did was add, let's see, one, two, three, I added four more clips. Now you could add more clips, or you could add your clips how I said I wanted all of mine facing the same way. That makes all of your cards stick out on the same side of the ribbon. So if you were to do your clips every every other one flip them over you could have one card on this side and then one card sticking out on that side um, it would make it hang a little straighter but you can use it to hang your happy mail cards you can use it to hang artist trading cards if you're going to use it for that you can put your clips closer together but I just hung it up on the curtain um, with a pin and that's just what it looks like they work really well they look cute and like I said they're great to take if you've got someone that has to be somewhere for a while, um, it's nice to have a place to display their cards that looks nice. So, and I just put Papa's birthday cards on there for him. So, anyways, for next week, what we are going to need is we are going to need everything is for... Sorry about that. A call came in and it stopped the video, but that gave me a chance to um, just kind of put out a few things that we're going to need from next week. All of this is stuff that we had in our stash, so some of our buttons, our nail polishes. We're going to need our wire. That's the most important thing. Maybe some little punches, some of our little pearls or diamonds, and some of the um, heavy-duty fix-it-all adhesive from the Dollar Tree. So that's what we'll need for next week. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.